This video shows you how to create new risk registers using risk register for the cloud. Okay, we start by going up to the apps menu at the very top of your screen, heading down there and clicking on risk registers. This will bring up the list of risk registers screen. We'll see that in just a moment. There we go. You can obviously uh, We'll look in this in more detail later, but you can look at these risk registers, you can open them up, you can have a look at their settings, you can do um, some searching here uh, by name, and so on. But what we're most interested in is this button over to the right here that says Create Risk Register. We'll click on that, and you'll see a little wizard opens that gives us initially three choices. We can create a risk register based on a completely new project, one that doesn't exist yet. We can create a risk register based on an existing project, one that does exist. Or we can create a risk register based on an existing saved filter. Let's have a look at what happens when we try a new project. So risk register asks us to say the name of the project. We'll call it test project. Then we need to come up with a uh, project key. We'll just say TP, that's nice and easy. We click create. And you'll see that Risk Register has created us a test project using one of the business project templates, just the task management template. Uh, and we'll see we actually have a Risk Register has been created for that new project. Um, however, the screen tells us that there are no risks in this risk register at the moment, obviously not because we've only just created it. All right, let's go back and look at some of those other creation options. We'll go create a risk register and then we'll use an existing reg um, one that's based on an existing project. We want to give the risk register a name, new risk register. Uh, and then we need to select a project. Let's have a look. We'll select the Moonshot project. So we've got a new risk register for Moonshot. Um, we'll click on Create. And here we are. We're in our new risk register. This is what I called the risk register. Uh, you'll notice, though, that this one is absolutely full of risks already. Uh, that's because there were already risk, uh, risks defined in the Moonshot database. I knew that when I chose it, um, when I chose it to be the source. That's why we see that this is actually already full up. But you could obviously uh, base your risk register on a project that uh, doesn't have any risks in it yet and then go and create your risks uh, from scratch. All right, let's have a look at our third option. which is to use one based on a filter. So people often want to do this. They may want to combine several projects together. So you want to, might want to get the risks from project A and project B. Uh, sometimes you just want to get uh, a, a subset of projects. So you might want to have a risk register that perhaps you allocate them by team. And you want to get all the risks allocated to the audit team across all projects. Really, you could do anything you want. A very common one though is people want to see all risks in their uh, instance. So they create a filter that contains every single risk across the instance, it could be quite large, and then they create a risk register based on that. So all risks in JIRA is what we'll call our risk register name. We've selected the filter called all items. Uh, it goes away and creates it. And here is our risk register based on the all items filter. And as you would imagine, it is very large, it's very long, still performs well. We click on the risk matrix and we see there's a whole lot of risks in there, including a lot of risks that aren't actually categorized yet. So they need to actually have their assessments placed in them. So that is how you create a risk register uh, using risk register by Project Balm. Um, as we've seen, you can 
get the risk register wizard to create a new project for you. You can create a risk register based on an existing project, or you can create a risk register based on an existing saved filter.